Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have had a bunch of different people ask me here on YouTube and I've seen this discussion on forums and other places on social media about a different barrel for the SD9VE and it has come up about hey can you put a Glock barrel in an SD9VE now if you're wondering why would you do this the SD9VE has virtually almost no upgrades you can do especially a barrel you can't get any kind of barrel for this pistol and a lot of people out there are interested in upgrading the SD9VE like I have I've got a custom one that nobody else has got that looks quite like mine and I've been interested in doing something with the barrel I've made my stock one uh, custom I uh, shortened it and crowned it and it's got a titanium nitride coating on it which we'll see in a little bit I've done that to other barrels in the past but uh, it's come across about uh, getting an extended barrel for this pistol and could you put a Glock barrel in this will it work well we're gonna find out we're gonna put some Glock barrels in the SD9 VE and see if it works Alright, so we're going to see if we can put a Glock barrel in the SD9VE if it'll work. Here is the SD9VE. We have a Glock 19 and a Glock 17. So let's take these barrels out and see if they'll work. <clears throat> oh, and in case you're wondering, the uh, Glock 19 that I have is a Gen 3, and the Glock 17 that I have is a Gen 4. Uh, I'm not very knowledgeable on the different uh, Gens of 19s and 17s. I don't know how different the barrel and the recoil spring is going to be in between Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, stuff like that. So the Glock 19 is a Gen 3 and the Glock 17 is a Gen 4. So we'll see if any of these configurations will actually work in the SD9. So first we'll put the uh, Glock 19 in here. And uh, this is an aftermarket. This is actually the stock barrel for the Glock 19 that I customized. So it is a regular Glock barrel and it'll tell us if it works or not. So the Glock 19 barrel does uh, it's a little bit short but i machined that to fit this slide so we ain't got to worry about that uh, it does lock up in here great and we'll take the 19 recoil spring and it fits in there but it's real real not a tight fit so that won't work even though it sits in there it's it just barely sits in there. It doesn't lock in place like it should. So that's not going to work. We'll try the regular SD uh, recoil spring and see if that works. And that's even shorter than that. So that won't work either. So the Glock 19 barrel and uh, recoil spring won't work. The Glock 17 barrel locks in just fine. recoil spring the Glock 17 recoil spring the end here is uh, too big to slide in the pocket for the recoil spring in here so that's not going to work either and even if it did you can see that it's reasonably longer so let's see if the 17 barrel and the 19 spring will work And that actually 
fit in there and it sticks out a little bit on the edge of the slide so that could possibly work but that was really really tight and the 17 barrel with the regular SD spring is the same way and uh, it's worth noting the uh, 19 uh, guide rod here is made out of uh, steel and the SD is made out of plastic and it if you squeeze it down in there in place the end here I don't know if you can see it on camera since it's plastic it's like bending down which might not work but we'll slide it in here and see what happens Trigger's acting a little weird. The reset is weird on the trigger with uh, this configuration, but it actually locks in good. So, uh, the uh, slide with the 17 barrel and the SD uh, recoil spring and guide rod in there the slide sits back further than it should on the slide so that's not going to work either so let's get that out and put the 19 guide rod back in Whoops. See if this works and that's the same thing it's sitting back as well so that's not gonna work all right so granted the gen 3 Glock 19 and the gen 4 Glock 17 aren't gonna work uh, I don't have other gens of these different pistols, so it's, I guess it's kind of possible it might work with others, but I doubt that the springs or barrels are going to be that much different. So I'm going to go ahead and say that it's not possible to put a Glock barrel in the SD platform pistol. So that's all for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to consider getting subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.